best climbing ever. I never did a move like that on the roots before. You have to overcome your fears. I really like that. Climbing means something different in Palestine than what it means anywhere else. Nameless Tower, this 3,000 foot obelisk of stone. The beauty of this big tower, it's, it's amazing. Jacobo and Babsi, they are this incredible team. The power couple in big wall free climbing. For two years, we committed our lives to this project. The expedition didn't go as expected. It's a very dangerous place, even if you get lucky enough to get the weather window. This is no joke. Free climbing at 20,000 feet takes its toll. You need to be willing to suffer in bad conditions. We needed to give it everything. Fucking hauling. To try to climb on the dream line. If they can pull this off, it's going to be one of the great climbs of the modern era. Not easy. I've come to the strife-torn land of Palestine to explore my roots. <laughs> my grandfather. But I discovered a thriving underground climbing scene. I love climbing. Very good for me and my heart. Boom. In a place like this, gun pointed at us. I was afraid for my life. Climbing. This is your hand. Means more than I ever knew it could. Palestinians. We have a collective trauma. Climbing is an escape from all that. It's becoming a way of resistance, improving. This is our land. The closest thing we can feel to being free. This project, DNA, it could be the hardest route on the earth. It's like a marathon. Huge and super steep, big dynamic moves. It's a perfect mix, the difficulty and the beauty. And the Verdun Gorge, it's the place of my childhood. Seb, I grew up here, with all the animals. Pinch training. This is where the DNA came from. Seb is genetically talented. He has opened a multitude of 9 a plus, 9 b. No one of his voices has been repeated. Ten years climbing on this wall. DNA is on the steepest part. I spent 250 tries pushing out with the frozen condition. It was too much. But now it's time to come back and try to crush it. 